because for you too is the moment to have some grappa in the morning. <laughs> Have a less alcohol, some yeah. caffeine, and then feel you know yeah, so the exactly. kind of we party should, feeling without should, being boost. We should cut down the amount of alcohol, yeah. so uh, that we can have a lower ABV cocktail. Yeah, because you're gonna feel energized and you're gonna feel the kick of the caffeine further more of the alcohol. Uh, we try with uh, with an Italian one. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I look. We got a big bottle here. Nonino grappa. Yes, yes. So, do you think this, this should work? It's I the same principle of the Rasentin, isn't it? Oh, the Rasentin, yeah. So the famous, uh, the one that in the end you have to clean. Yeah, the it cup. is. This is my uh, my cup of coffee. Just I already had my coffee, and if we want to make a Rasentin, that means uh, we're gonna rinse the cup with some grappa. Yeah. I think I'm the one supposed to do that. Of course. <laughs> I am the one supposed to drink it. <laughs> nice. So my grandfather used to do that. A lot of people. So it's basically a, a, a coffee flavored grappa. Yeah. So we've been doing that for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serve yourself. Help yourself. <laughs> Oh, that's also Grappa awesome. in the morning is uh, very recommended. You, so that's a single origin. Is it, that the same? It's a single origin. It's only I one single variety yeah, yeah, of yeah, grain. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, this family is famous for uh, yeah. producing mono varietal uh, grappa. It's Chardonnay one. So in this case, we have a single origin grappa and, the and a blend. No, that was oh, a blend. Okay. That was a blend. And a blended coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So shall we try to mix something? Okay, this is been tried. Yeah, yes, you know. <laughs> you, you use vodka when you don't want to overwhelm the other flavors. Yeah. You know, because vodka is basically neutral alcohol. Yeah. And uh, but I think that uh, with coffee, which is a super bold taste, we can even use a bolder spirit than vodka. Yeah, yeah. We got vodka. The, the part of water that then they add. Yeah, used because, to water the drink and with vodka I always find a little bit difficult. Yeah, because it is typically distilled uh, up to 95.5 uh, ABV mm. and then cut down with other water. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was thinking about uh, grappa. Yeah, to it has a longer taste Yeah, and can uh, like follow the, the long uh, lingering taste of coffee. Oh, something like a black Russian. Like a, ah, oh, that should be nice. Yeah, yeah. it should be like a... a, a, a Rasentin Russian. That's the, that that's sense? the one. That's, yeah, the that's the one. That's the one. So first, what we need to make? Uh, okay, to make a Rasentin Russian, the the, the grappa we got it already. Mm -hmm. But let's make uh, an Italian version. Yeah, with this price. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But there, you you feel it? How heavy there? Yeah, they are heavy. Heavier than I am actually. The pen. Why are those glasses so heavy? Where did you find them? Uh, from uh, you know this. Flea markets. Flea markets, yeah. Yeah, from a flea market. And this man sold me as a glass, a boat glasses. Boat glasses. Ah, yeah, so if there's a strong wind or the boat uh, is uh, like uh, going this way, they're not gonna fall from the table. So we got our 16.4. Always 16.4, man. Yeah, that's the right dose for this kind of coffee. Which is a blend. It's not the one of before, it's another one. Okay. Always uh, typical, is, yeah, typical uh, espresso blend. Pop it. Yeah. Spike it, man. Yeah. <laughs> and even, uh, I mean, the routine of the shaking and spray and uh, pumping and spanking is pretty. It does some flattery, you know. I can imagine you like working uh, on a high rhythm. Has yeah, to be man. like even a show to, to, to watch for the people attending at the bar because that that's as, that aspect as well you need to consider. What you're enjoying, what you're doing. What you're seeing is very smart because uh, you. you know activity. It's something on the back of the bar that uh, people likes to see. It creates a rhythm. Yeah, yeah. It's finished the time of bars where you know people just open something and serve you. Look at it, beautiful. It's yeah. like. A 
I made it's you like leopard, huh? Yeah, yeah, I made you a, a little bit generous though, just one gram more. So that we can, uh, we can, can have a little it. bit, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Which is exactly the long. A long right. espresso is like one gram, one gram and a half each cup. Okay. Like two, three grams more. It's the maximum that you can, uh, you know. Extract, because uh, if you go longer than this, you're gonna drink like dirty water. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna, draw, uh, you're gonna taste a lot of uh, bitterness. Okay. But of because course, as, lo as long as you carry on the extraction, you're gonna take off all, only the bitter, yeah. unpleasant yeah. notes of the coffee. But the key is always the ground, as I told you, the grinding. In this case, we have a very, very precise ground, very few fines, the fines okay. that you need. <laughs> You can uh, you can go a little bit uh, longer, and uh, you don't have a lot of bitterness. All right. You don't have a lot of fine parts, which are the one that will overextract immediately. Okay, you, if you eat ah, okay. extract it more, they're gonna be super overextracted. So, what you think? Uh, I was thinking I was mixing the the espresso with a little ice and the grappa. Yeah. And then we had a layer as if it was a white Russian. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Take the cream. Cool. So we should manage a resin thing in this way. So this is like half a shot, a 25 ml of grappa. We can make a lot of cocktails with such a big bottle. between totally wet and uh, completely uh, liquid. Right? Man, the taste is good. Mm -hmm. The taste is good already. Ooh, looks mm -hmm. like this, man. Like this? Perfect, man. Perfect. Wow. How about that? Yeah. That could make uh, even the big Lebowski dude happy. Oh man. We should uh, ask to have Jeff, Jeff Bridge. Yeah, yeah, we should. To, you know, to have his satisfaction. I, I really love that movie. Yeah. That dude looking for his carpet everywhere. Just want the carpet back. <laughs> You know one thing amazing to do now could be? No. To put some coffee on it? Yeah. But as a garnish, you say? Yeah, but, but uh, I, I'm going to show you one thing which is very, very show me. interesting. Yeah. When they use the garnish of coffee, okay. one thing that they don't like, me personally, that's my opinion, is they use the, the, the same grind that they use for making drinks. Which is always two cores because okay. you're gonna, you're, you should make it fine like cocoa. Ah, all right. So that. we got a proper grinding for the garden. Man, as you were saying, you can do whatever you want with this garden. Okay, so, so you go. Uh, okay, I you said the first time to try to do that with this. Let's see what happens. I was thinking about nothing happens. <laughs> happens that we have very fine, fine ground. You see? It's completely powdery. Yeah. So let's put some flair on the garnish. Wow. You see? It's totally different than... Uh... And there you That's go. amazing, yeah? It's amazing, but you have to tell us if it is amazing. So please have a seat, because for you too is the moment to have some grappa in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Grappa in the morning. Grappa in the morning. And like you can have a cappuccino in the afternoon for my opinion. Okay, grappa in the morning, cappuccino in the afternoon. How does it taste? Really good. Thank, Thank you. you. Fantastic.